Hello everyone, this is Yuki from International Whistlers Guild. Thank you for your interest in joining the Global Whistling Championship. In this video, I'll explain how to record a good whistling video just with your smartphone. So right now, you may be hearing a lot of noise in this environment because while someone's cooking right aside and the doors open, the windows open, um, there are a lot of noise. And the first thing we want to do without even a professional equipment or anything is to reduce the ambient noise as much as possible. All right, so I'll first close the door. Okay, so I don't hear any of the cooking noise. Well, I might hear a little. I'm closing the windows. All right, and you're probably still hearing some noise because the fan is on. So I turned off the fan and there is much less noise now. You can see how much difference this makes. So make sure that when you record your video, your whistling video for the submission, please, please, please close the doors, close the windows. Ideally close all the windows in the house because noises will come in from those windows. Um, it's summer in the Northern Hemisphere, so it gets really hot when no fan is on, no windows open, no doors are open. So make sure that you hydrate yourself enough. I do recommend that if you have an aircon in your room, you use the aircon to cool the room down first and then turn everything off, close everything and then start recording. Okay, so now I am going to play my accompaniment, well sorry, the cake mixing is still happening next door. Anyway, I'm going to play this uh, accompaniment for my whistling. And you need to make sure that the balance between your whistling and the accompaniment is okay. So try different, you know, takes to see what the good balance is between your whistling and your accompaniment, okay? Here we go. I don't know if this is loud enough, if you can hear it or not. Oh, you're hearing the birds. I did close the window, but... And then, I'm gonna increase the volume. This is very loud. Let's try whistling. It sounds like a, it's a bit too loud, the company, so I'm gonna turn it down. And I think you can still hear it. Now the distance from the phone or the camera also determines how loud your whistling is going to be. So if I get close... Alright, so I hope you can find the right balance between your accompaniment, your whistling, the distancing, the volume of the accompaniment, and everything so that you can make a perfect whistling video with just your phone. One thing that's very important is that once you record it, you listen to it with your earphones or your headphones so that you make sure that there are no any noises, unwanted noises, or the balance is okay. Because if you play it on your phone with your phone speakers, you might not be hearing the right um, the right sound that the judges will be hearing with their professional monitors. Oh, their company is getting loud. Uh, the right sound that the, the judges will be hearing through their headphones or monitor speakers. So make sure that you always, always, always double check how you sound using your headphones or earphones. Well, with that, uh, I hope you can 
make a nice whistling video for this competition. We're really looking forward to hearing and seeing you. Good luck, take care, keep whistling.